please welcome Brother Bo Sanchez. And how many of you are excited to be here? I want you to greet someone beside you. Just embrace that person. Tell that person something good's going to happen to you today. <laughs> Amen. Yesterday, my friend was telling me that his three month old baby uh, got sick because the doctor said, oh, there's this airborne disease or virus, you know, spreading around. And, you know, babies have weak immune systems and you know was not able to resist i've got news for you ask me what <laughs> there is an airborne virus in this place and the virus is called blessing victory <laughs> healing prosperity abundance joy love and i hope you catch it i hope you catch it i, I want you to go home really filled with that joy, really filled with the blessings of God. Are you ready to receive it? Yes. Let's pray together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Everybody say with your faith, Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to your blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, I'm God's powerful champion, and because I am blessed, I will bless the world in Jesus' name. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light. Unto my path. Mark chapter 3, verse 13 says, He appointed twelve, designating them apostles, say apostles, apostles, that they might be with Him, and that He might send them out. Everybody say, send them out. Send them out. To preach and to have authority to drive out demons. Jesus duplicated Himself and raised up apostles. And that's what we're supposed to do as well. Put your hand over your chest. Say this with me. Everybody say, Lord, you know what I need. You know how to prosper me. Teach me. Speak to me. Bless me. And prosper me. Today, in this place. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give the Lord a big hand. He is here. He is here. And God will bless you. And God knows where you're coming from and what you need. He will speak to you and prosper you. Hallelujah. In this Prosper series, we share with you powerful testimonies, and today's no different. You're going to hear, listen, and watch a powerful testimony from a dear friend of mine. Please enjoy. My mom is my idol. She's a superwoman. Kung merong isang tao na gusto kong gayahin, kung hanggang sa pagtanda ko, gusto ko maging kagaya ko ng mami ko. Kasi maliban sa sobrang dedicated siya sa pamilya niya, Ino offer niya yung life niya kay God sa kaya gusto niyang mag-serve sa ibang tao. The most important lesson that my mom taught me is to help other people because we are not alone in this world but we need to help other people so that other people will be blessed as well. Trust and confidence in me. Malaking part 'yon kasi I wouldn't believe in myself nobody believes in me. Yun yung binigay sa akin ng mom ko. Yun. Kaya nga sinabi ni mom na kaya ako nagtatrabaho para kay Lord kasi si Lord yung may-ari ng business na to. So parang ang ini ko lang sa sarili ko na pag nagsuserve ako sa mga, ano, sa mga customers namin, ma-experience nila yung love ni God sa pagsuserve namin.
Ako si Sonia Lusada, may-ari ng Trinity Ihaw Ihaw sa Dampa. Ah, yung Trinity kasi, nag-umpisa yan last 1989. It's about 24 square meters, tapos nagdagdagagan ng grahe. So nagiging 60 square meters yung unang-unang Trinity sa Dampa sa Paranaque. Hanggang pati yung katabi, nabili rin ng Trinity. At that time din also, inumpisahan ko rin yung mission ko na bawat empleyado ng Trinity makilala rin ang Panginoon. Pag pumasok kasi sa Trinity, ang first qualification, willing ka bang mag-prayer meeting? Kasi inisip namin sa Trinity, ito ay bigay ng Panginoon para mabigyan rin kami ng hanap buhay, mabigyan rin ang mga tao ng hanap buhay. At the same time, nagbimission rin kami para mapakilala ang Panginoon. Nung nag-umpisa ang Trinity, mayroon tayong labing lima na empleyado. Pero ngayon, mayroon na tayong mga 180 kawal ni Kristo. Hindi ko sila tinatawag na empleyado kung hindi magiging kawal ni Kristo. Gusto naming dumami ang Trinity para makapag-serve ng maraming customer, makapag Bigay rin naman ng trabaho ng mga tao na kahit hindi ka graduate, kaya namang i-train ng isang tao kung talagang nasa puso niya yung pagtatrabaho at nananaling sa Panginoon. Yung umpisa, talagang sumasali pa ako sa kusina, although may mga cook, pero hands-on yung ginagawa ko. Ako pa rin nagtuturo sa kanila kung paano magtimpla, nagtuturo kung paano magluto. Pero sa ngayon, mayroon na tayong maraming cook na nagtuturo. At ako naman, imbes na magluluto, ang ginagawa ko, nag-isip ako kung paano ko maparami ang Trinity. Parang nadoduplicate. Kasi kung yun lang, magluluto at magmaluluto ako, hindi ako makapag-isip kung paano ko paramihin at paano rin ako makatulong sa maraming tao. At the same time naman, nadagdagan rin yung kita ko. management, unti-unti kung binibigay sa mga bata. Dahil ako naman may ibang misyon na naman. Nagtanim ako ng palay sa probinsya. Actually, we started when we were still young. I can still remember I was 8 or 9 years old. Every time classes stops and summer starts, my mom obliged us to work in the store. After I finished culinary, ako na yung nagtitrain sa mga employees about quality customer service. So, nales na yung expenses namin magbayad ng 50,000 para mag-train ng mga employees. That's number one. Um, yung two, siguro yung pag-come up ng new food recipes, food ideas. I manage the band. So including the equipment. I'm so passionate about music that I, uh, I also have a band of my own. God is so good that He knows how to find a way to, to na mapalago ko yung blessing na binigay niya. And at the same time, I earned din sa ginagawa ko. Plus, nakakatulong pa ako sa resto. I manage one branch, and then I interview the applicants as well. And sometimes, pag wala siya, pumupunta siya sa province, may mga meetings, may mga problema yung mga employees, ako yung humaharap. Ako na yung parang alter ego niya pag wala siya. So in making decisions, I don't need to ask her already because nat-imbibe niya na sa akin kung ano yung values na dapat patakbuhin sa negosyo na dapat palaging isipin yung kapakanan ng kapamilya namin na nagtatrabaho katulong namin sa negosyo. Nung time kasi na uuwi kami sa probinsya, nakita namin kung gaano kahirap ang mga farmers. At naisip rin namin na kahit sa kunting paraan makatulong sa mga farmers. Kaya yung sistema, dinuplicate ko lang doon yung sistema dito sa Trinity na naglagay ako ng uh, chief agriculturist nila at mayroon silang mga bawat area, mayroon silang mga supervisor dahil mabot na ng mga 30 hectares yung tanim sa palay doon. Nakala nga namin, servisyo lang, misyon lang, pero nakikita namin at the same time kumita din pala kami dahil yung nag-seed grower na kami, medyo maganda rin ang kita. Kaya nagmimisyon kami at the same time, kumita rin.
I treat the employees of Trinity as part of our family because my mother embedded in us that the same culture that she treats her employees. Yung employees po namin reveres and respects my mom very much. That the employees treats, treats her as a mother. When she manages the restaurant, it seems that we are just a one big happy family. Responsibility mo yung mga tao dyan. Responsibility mo din yung families nila. Kasi sila yung parang nagpapakain sa families nila. So, dapat sila din yung unahin mo. Most of our employees works for us since Trinity has started. Yung karamihan doon sa very loyal sa Trinity, pinag-aaral ni Mami. Tuloy, nagumpisa ako dito, 18 years old. Naging driver ako. Kung walang biyahe, nagtumutulong ako paghugas ng plato. Ngayon, 40 anyos na ako. Naging general maintenance na ako. Yung isang tagaluto natin dito, inofera ng malaki sa magiging cook sa vapor. Pero hanggang ngayon, nandito siya sa Trinity. Dahil nga, sabi nga niya, mahal niya ang Trinity. Hindi naman kami pinipigilan na o malis o maghanap ng ibang trabaho na mas malaking sahod, masaya na ako dito sa Trinity Family. Hindi ko mararamdaman to sa ibang owner or ibang employer. So far naman, wala pa namang umaalis. My mom is very generous, especially to our workers, to the extent that he never shops for herself, but merely gives to the employees. My siblings and I decided to give her a surprise party as well, kasabay nung 20th anniversary, para makita rin niya how important she is, kung gano'ng karaming tao ang natulungan niya. Every morning, nagdadasal kami. Bago aalis ang mga empleyado, lahat sila pupunta sa bahay para magdasal kami, magpuri at magpapasalamat sa Panginoon araw-araw na binigyan kami ng blessing sa Panginoon. Awa ng Diyos, walang araw na walang customer. Maraming customers nang napaglingkuran natin. Marami rin tayong makasamahan na tutulungan. Sabay-sabay rin kaming lumago at sabay-sabay rin kaming kumita dahil ang biyaya ng Panginoon talagang sobra-sobra ang biyaya ng Panginoon. Sister Sonia, thank you so much. <laughs> God is good. Welcome to the fourth part of our series on Prosper, and the title is Duplicate. Everybody say, Duplicate. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, Duplicate. If you look around you, duplication is all over the place. Nature, the basis of nature is duplication. The reason why, you know, look at animals, look at living things, plants, it's all. My parents, mom and dad, once upon a time, they were alone. And then they fell in love, walked down the aisle, and duplicated. So they gave birth to five average children and one extraordinary child. <laughs> no, no, it's not me. I mean, it's one of my sisters. What? And then their children duplicated also. And so my, my mom has, and has eight lovely grandchildren. So duplication is all over nature. It is the principle of prosperity. When there is prosper, prosperity in nature, it's because of the law of duplication. The kingdom of God operates also in the same way. Once upon a time, Jesus was alone. And then one day, he w goes up the mountain, he prays to the Father, he goes down, and he picks 12 apostles. Why did he do that? He could have be been alone, preaching, healing, driving out demons, going from one town to another in Israel. He could have done that. He did not do that. Ask me why. Because he wanted to duplicate himself. He chose 12 duplicates. He chose 12 men, duplicated himself, and there were now 12 Jesus in the world. And these 12 Jesus goes around to different towns. And then later on, he did not only raise 12, he raised 72 men, duplicated himself. 
72 Jesuses going around. And the strategy of the kingdom of God has not changed. To this day, God is still duplicating himself. I want you to look at the person beside you. That is a duplicate of Jesus. Really? Now, I know he doesn't look like Jesus <laughs> physically, but deep down inside, put your hand over your chest. Everybody say, I'm a duplicate of Jesus. The whole of the kingdom of God is really resting upon this law of duplication. Friends, let me say something controversial here. If the kingdom of, if duplication does not happen, the kingdom of God goes bust. You have to be a Jesus in this world. The only way people will know that God is love if you are a person of love, if you are loving people the way Jesus loves. Did you get me? The law of duplication is seen all over nature. The law of duplication is seen in the kingdom of God. It's even seen in ministry. Say ministry. I'll give you a trivia. The light of Jesus, this family, our spiritual family, we have a mission statement. Do you know what our mission statement is? Two words. When we began, a long, long time ago, we had a convoluted, multi-word, multi-paragraph mission statement that nobody remembers. 30 years later, we end up with two words. We're focused, we're targeted, we know what we're going to do, we know what we're about. Our mission statement of the light of Jesus, make disciples. That's it. And what is making disciples? Duplication. You duplicating yourself with the other person. Transforming that person and making that person into another Jesus in this world. Everybody say, make disciples. That is what the kingdom of God is. That is what our spiritual family is. I want you to know, as good as the feast is, as good as Kerygma magazine is, as good as our TV shows are, all of that will not make the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God can only happen if you and you and you and you and you duplicate. You duplicate. You disciple someone and make someone another Jesus. Is that clear? Tell someone beside you, make disciples. make disciples. The law of prosperity rests upon the law of duplication. Do you want to prosper? Yes. In every area of your life, yes. apply the law of duplication. This ministry, light of Jesus, look at the feast. We were one feast one year ago here in Pasig. Now we're 10 feasts all over Metro Manila. Why? Because we duplicated and we're reaching more people. Arun, who led worship a while ago, he's, he leads the feast in Alabang. There are now two sessions in Alabang. They also could not fit in one place, you know, in one, in one little one session. And, and there are a thousand people there. Last year, there were zero. There was zero. Nobody was attending there. But because of duplication, We've got 10 feasts going around in Metro Manila. I want to prophesy. May I? Yes. There will be 1,000 feasts in this planet one day. One day. And you're looking at me now. And I'm going to look back at you. And I'll say, one day, you will be leading a ministry. One day, you might be leading the feast somewhere in Netherlands. I don't know. You might, you know, you, God's going to use you you're going to be a caring group leader. Some of you, God's going to use you and you're going to start, you know, all sorts of different ministries. Tell someone beside you, Humandaka. <laughs> God's going to duplicate Jesus in you. That's how the kingdom of God works. Now let me go to my message for today. My dear friends, do you want to earn more? Yes. Do you want to prosper financially? Yes. You have to duplicate. If you duplicate yourself, you duplicate your income. I'll say that again. If you duplicate yourself, you duplicate your income. Employees, raise your hand. Do you want to prosper? Yes. Do you want to be promoted? Yes. Duplicate yourself. Specifically, duplicate your output. Duplicate the quality of your work. Duplicate your results. 
not by working harder, but by working smarter through your ingenuity, your God-given creativity, your skills and talents, your focus, be able to duplicate your output. If you are a manager, I want you to duplicate yourself in your staff. I want you to make your staff better than you. you. That should be your goal. Your staff should be people that are so good that they can replace you. Now you might say, uh-oh, Brother Bo, if they will replace me, I won't have a job anymore. That's the point. You will not be promoted if you will not be able to train people to do, to, and, and, and duplicate yourself. If you have an intelligent boss, your boss will recognize the power of duplication in you and will say, I'm, I, I need this leader. Leaders. One of the most important qualifications of a leader is the power to duplicate yourself. Now, you might say, Brother Bo, that's my problem. My boss is not intelligent. <laughs> I shared with you two weeks ago, two Sundays ago, that if your boss does not recognize you, someone else will. Maybe from another company, maybe from another division, maybe from a... And that person will promote you. God will promote you. Tell someone beside you, God will promote you. You keep on doing the right thing. You keep on training people. You keep on empowering people. You keep deep duplicating people and God will promote you. And who knows? You will not be promoted in your company. You will not be promoted in another company. You will be promoted in your own, your very own company. Amen? Amen. I, I want you to open up. I want you to think that God is working in your life and everything is possible. Don't box in yourself. Don't think small. Oh, this is only me. This is, this is Brother Bo. Maybe you're talking about that person and that person, but not me. I'm, I, you know, I, I lack education or I lack training or, and I'm, my parents were poor. And Hey, no. Don't, don't look down on yourself because you've got a big God. Amen? Amen. Friends, I, I know that there's another way of duplication and that's to get a second job. I hope that's temporary. I don't like that. But if it's a temporary move, go ahead. Uh, if you go to the States, there are people who have two jobs, right? My friend, she lives in the States. She has two jobs. She wakes up in the morning, four in the morning, to report to Judy, first job, six in the morning, ends at two, goes to a second job at three o'clock in the afternoon, ends at 11 o'clock in the evening. She has three to four hours of sleep every day. She drives a BMW because of her two jobs. But you know, recently, I heard that she's very sick. How could you not be sick with two jobs? So maybe temporary. But there's a better way of doing it. Friends, there are only two incomes in this world. How many? There's active income and passive income. One more time. Active income and passive income. What is active income? Say active. Active income is exchanging your time for money. You're a laborer. You exchange one whole day for 400 pesos. You're a manager. You exchange one whole day for 4,000, 5,000 pesos a day. You're a dentist. You pull a tooth for 30 minutes. You exchange it for 400, 500, 1,000, you know, depends. You're a doctor. Um, bypass operation, you know. I don't know how many hours. You exchange that for what? 200, 300, 500, I don't know, you know, thousands. But all of that is active income because the moment you stop working, you stop earning. So active income is good and everybody starts there, but there's a limit. You can't go beyond it. Why? Because you've got so many R's only. Remember what I shared to you about Ate Guy, my wife's favorite masseuse? Ate Guy, the, the woman of great fame who massages and tortures people all at the same time, in the same breath, you know, you're, mas you're massaged and you're tortured. She, she, she is so good. She is so good. She's always in demand. Because there, there are, you know, lucky for her, enough deranged people who, who like to be, you know, brought to extreme pain. And uh, one of them is my wife. And it, it's... It's amazing. I was talking to her, Ate Guy. How many 
patients or, or clients can you have in one day? And she says, five. That's my maximum. Because two hours per patient, so that's 10 hours. Oh, and how many patients do you have? Five. <laughs> She's always booked. And so I counted how much did she earn? You know, 250 pesos times one hour and you know, 50,000 pesos a month. Wow, a masseuse earning 50,000 pesos a month. That's amazing. But here's the problem. If she wants to take a vacation, her income goes to zero. If she wants, you know, she gets older, she can't massage five patients in a day, it goes down to two patients, what happens to her income? Goes down as well. Or what if Ate Guy says, Brother Bo, I want to donate to your ministry. I want to earn more money. Can she earn more than 50,000 pesos with using active income? Maybe she can. How? Increase, charge more, right? But still, even if she charges more, there is always a ceiling. Active income hits a ceiling, and then you can't move. If you want to grow, you need to grow and switch to passive income. Say passive income. In passive income, you still exchange time for money, but it's no longer your time. You now exchange your duplicate's time for money. It's not your time, it's the time of your duplicate. So if you have duplicate one and duplicate two and duplicate three and duplicate 100, their time you exchange for money. And so if Ate Guy is in front of me and she says, Brother boy, want to earn more money? I'll say, duplicate. What do you do? You do what Jesus did. Ate Guy, train women in the Ate Guy torture therapy. <laughs> Let them go through your school and then earn a commission on the side. Or, number two, create a Ate Guy healing oil in a little bottle and then let all the masseuses sell your healing oil, you know? Uh, basically, what I'm saying is you've got to duplicate. Unless you duplicate, you will not increase your income. Tell someone beside you, learn to duplicate. How? Ask me how. There are only two ways. Really, two ways. How many? The first way is by forming a team, and the second way is by using technology. The first way is by forming a team. And I, remember, I, 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 I recall uh, PJ. PJ is uh, someone who works in a company. And last year, I heard that he was selling, pre-selling condo units. So he has a job, and he's selling condo units. Both are active income, right? If he stops working, he stops earning. But then, recently, I heard that he hired six of his friends to work as sales agents for him selling condo units. The moment he did that, he crossed the line between active income to passive income. Are you getting me? Are you sure? So that's what you need to do. Form a team. When you're able to form a team and train people, that's what Sonia did. In the video a while ago, she trained. She has 180 workers working for her. You know, the restaurant business is one of the most difficult businesses to get into. You've got to have real heart and passion for that. But her greatest duplication are her children. Her children have, have taken on her heart, her mind. They think like her, you know? You know they, they, they're, it's amazing how, how are they able to lead like her. She has duplicated herself. And that's why now she can go to the province and take care of a 30-hectare farm, another business. Are you listening to what I'm saying? When you duplicate, you can move on and move on and move on, and then your income increases. So form a team. The, the, other, the other way, oh, I remember I was uh, thinking of this of this, uh, you know, when Light of Jesus began many, many years ago, we would feed people. We would actually give people bread and, and nice stuff. And then we later, we, we, we found out that our members were, were growing in, in, in weight. And, you know, so we don't feed you anymore. 
That's not true. We, we'd love to feed you, except that we, we have, we have a, you know, it's a, it's a country club, so it's a little bit difficult. But we'd love to do that again. But during our early years, we would give people like Spanish bread. You know what Spanish bread is? Yummy, soft, oval, buttery, sugary bread. And I would go to a small bake shop many, many years ago, you know, and I would buy that. It was a hole in the wall, small, small bakery, and really tiny. And that's where we would buy, we would buy our Spanish bread for, for the prayer meeting. One of the things I noticed was that there was always this tricycle at the back, at the, at, outside the bakery, and the owner would get crates of Spanish bread, load up the tricycle, and the tricycle driver would speed out. Every time I'd visit, you know, buying my Spanish bread, the tricycle would keep on. Why? Because if she would only sell in her little store, it was not even a main avenue, it was not a secondary road, it was a tertiary road where her house li- was. You think, you think a lot of people will find her store and buy Spanish bread? What did she do? She delivered Spanish bread, brokered a deal with all the different stores around to sell her Spanish bread. You got what I'm saying? You know, in four years, I visited her bake shop. I could not recognize it. From a little store, it was now a four-story building, all built by Spanish bread. I'm not kidding. It was amazing. And the reason was that she duplicated herself. Not just me selling, but, you know, 35 other stores selling. These stores are not mine, but they're partners. When you form a team, what happens? You duplicate yourself. You train others. And then what happens is you not only experience linear growth, you experience exponential growth. The other way of duplication is through technology. Say technology. Three days ago, I went and visited a prisoner in Munting Lupa. And I talked to a man who is running for Congress. And he was telling me that they made a survey in his district. Do you know who's number one? The prisoner. In spite of being in prison, he was number one in the surveys. You know, he's running for Congress. Why? Because before he became a prisoner, he was in radio for eight years, every single day speaking to people. Radio duplicated him so that he was in the homes of thousands of people who were listening to him every single day. Are you listening? Every Monday, I write an email. Do you write emails? The difference is that I have 100,000 names. 100,000 people receive my email every Monday. And I shoot it out. What am I doing? I'm duplicating myself. And that's why I'm prospering. When I write a book, what happens? I'm duplicating. It's technology. A book is a technology. My, there are 105 national bookstore branches all over the country. You know what? I'm present, quote unquote, in each and every one of them all at the same time by the power of technology, by the written word by the book. And so if you use teams and technology, that's how you duplicate yourself and that's how you prosper. The richest people in the world know how to duplicate. And they duplicate by forming teams and by using technology. Are you receiving this? And so I ask you now, how can you duplicate? How? Can you create more passive income for yourself? How can you prosper so that you can prosper others? Remember my example of the basil leaf that has not been watered so much. I want you to know, do you, how, many, how many of you are, are, are basil plants are suffering like this? It's the heat of, of, of the, the past month. But anyway, do you know how to duplicate a, ba- a basil leaf? What you do is you simply get this, okay? And you put it in water and let roots form. And then you plant it like that. And what do you have? 
you duplicate the basal leaf. And so imagine if you do this 100 times, then you'll have 100 plants, 100 basal plants, by the power of duplication. I'm going to ask Arun to lead us into an exercise right now. I would like to call on stage two of our friends, si Mike and Pierre. Taman tama lent ngayon. Kaya <laughs> Jesus and the two thieves. No? <laughs> si si Mike at saka si Pierre, sila ay mga hairstylist. Kitang-kita niyo naman, di ba? Ang trabaho ni Mike, pinapahaba niya ang buhok ng tao. Si Pierre, kalimutan na natin, no? So, so this is what I would like them to do. I would like them to duplicate themselves. So they're going to get someone, kuha ka ng isa, kahit sino sa kanila. Just get one and bring that person on stage. Yan. Kahit sino. All right. Thank you. Si Dina ang kinuha at saka si Yo. Tama-tama kinuha mo, no? Talagang <laughs> nagpapahaba ka ng buhok, eh, no? Masyado confident. Kaya niya yan. So, ang ginawa ni Mike, dinuplicate niya ang sarili niya kay Yo. Kaya lang, ang galing ng duplication niya, lahat ng alam niya, ipinasa niya kay Yo. So, si Yo ay parang si Mike na rin. Si Pierre, magaling to, eh. Magaling. Kaya lang, tinuru... May, may ginawa lang siya sa hairstyle ni Dina. Yun lang, yun lang ang ginawa. Kaya, duplicate pa rin. Tama? Di ba? Kaya lang ang maganda rito, you can go and get one, anyone, anybody, and bring them on stage. Si Pierre, you can go and get one. Not you, Dina. Just stay here. Yan. Sige. Anybody. Pero pareho magaling. Si Pierre, tsaka si Mike, magaling yan eh. Alika, sir. Ayan. All right. Kaya lang si Mike na duplicate niya ang sarili niya perfectly kayo. Kaya si Yo can get someone and train that other person. Ayan. So, ganito na yung itsura, di ba? Eh magaling talaga 'to eh. So, nakapi yung sarili niya dito sa apat, kaya ikaw magaling ka lang. 'Yun lang. But you're not being copied by them, no? But you can get one more. So, get one more, ikaw lang, ikaw lang. Kayong apat, you can get more. One, one only each. Each of you, go get someone and bring that person on stage. Yan. Magaling talaga to si Pierre, di ba? Kasi nakakuha siya ng three more people. Si Mike, magaling din. Pareho lang yung galing nila. Kaya lang may ginagawang iba si Mike na hindi ginagawa ni Pierre. Si Mike. Alika Mike. Ayan, dami na nila oh. Ang dami. Ang ganda ng mga hair nila. Ah. Ang galing mo. <laughs> Ikaw din magaling. Ang ganda rin ng mga hairstyle. Pareho magaling. Kaya lang may difference silang ginagawa. Pareho sila. Question. Ilan ang kinuha ni Pierre? When I tell Pierre, go get how many? One. Si Mike. Ilan ang kinuha ni Mike? One also. Pareho lang kinukuha nila. Kaya lang bakit ang dami nito. Tapos ito, marami rin, pero mas marami ito. This is not just duplication. This is exponential growth. Duplicating yourself to others so that others can duplicate also themselves. This is exponential growth and I believe this is linear growth. Exponential and linear. Think about this. Kung ito ay ministry mo, anong mas gusto mo dito? Magaling ka. Galing mo eh. Pero tingnan mo kung saan mas dumadami ang tao. Amen? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Are you ready to duplicate? Yes. Then I want you to pray now for wisdom. Let's pray for that right now. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Put your hand over your chest. Father, I pray that you teach us. Everybody say, Father, speak to me now. Guide my hand. Teach me how to duplicate in the various areas of my life. I want to prosper. 
Now, brothers and sisters, where do you want to prosper? Maybe you want to prosper in your ministry. Maybe you want to prosper in your family life. Maybe you want to prosper in your business, in your job. I want you to ask God to teach you how to duplicate. Maybe you're the father and you want to duplicate yourself in your son. Maybe you're the mother and you want to duplicate yourself in your daughter. Give her your values. Give her your thinking. I want you to pray for that. Look at your finances. I want you to ask God to lead you how to duplicate your service. You're doing something to earn money. It's your core gift. It's your anointing. How can you duplicate your anointing? Get wisdom. Get inspiration. I want you to get your green card that was inserted in your feast bulletin. Get your ball pen as well. And I want you to write down once more your financial goal and the date by which you want to fulfill that. I repeat, get your pen, write it down, and answer this question. This is how I will duplicate my service. This is how I will duplicate my anointing. There are some of you, you have a dream in your heart. You want to start a business. There are some of you, you want to start something that will generate income, but you're afraid because you look down at yourself. I'm speaking to you now. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Take the wild step. Just get mentors. That's all. But you start. And it's okay to fail. Don't be afraid of failure. Find a way to duplicate your anointing, your service. Maybe it means looking for other salespeople. Maybe it means looking for other partners. Maybe it means going around and looking for people who, and, and partner with them and finding ways of how you can serve more people. Ask yourself that question. How can I serve more people? How can more people enjoy my products, my service? And whatever comes to mind, just write it down in the card. I was talking to a, a person who was selling spare parts of cars. And, and he said, I want to grow my store, but it's so small, I don't know what to do. And I said, who are your customers? And he said, oh, car owners and mechanics. And then I said, you know what? All you have to do is look for 10 mechanics and just tell them, listen, I'm going to refer customers to you. You buy spare parts from me. And if, if, if I refer customers to you, can you give me 10% of, of the job? And if, and if you buy spare parts from me, I give you 10%. I mean, find a way to duplicate. Find a way to look for partners so that you can increase your income and serve more people. Are you ready? Let's pray. Turn the card. Lesson 4. Duplicate. Ecclesiastes 11 verse 2. Let's read. Divide your portion to 7 or even to 8 for you do not know what misfortune may occur on the earth. Faith declaration. Pakibasa. I shall follow the law of duplication. I shall duplicate my services to God's people. I shall duplicate my anointing. I shall multiply the way I bless others. I shall also duplicate my investments. I can grow the resources available for God's kingdom. By duplicating, I open myself to God's increase and abundance. Lift up the card. Everybody say this, Father. This will come true. In Jesus' name. I want you to lift up your novena to God's love. Your list of dreams. If you don't have your novena, it's fine. Just lift up your dreams from your heart to God. Look through your novena. Read through them. Review them. And say this after me. Father, these dreams will come true. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you believe that God is here, if you believe that God will guide you in your process of duplication, I want you to thank Him and praise Him. 
Give Him glory. Thank God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hug someone beside you. Tell that person, let's prosper together.